Okay, guys, welcome to week two. Uh, I'm creating this video to help you with your assignments. Uh, so week two, when you go to your Blackboard in week two, uh, you can go to lecture notes and activities. I included a formula sheet which you can use for your assignments. This is the formula sheet. So when you open that file, uh, <clears throat> I have it here. You're going to see all the formulas you can use for this unit two or lab two. Uh, so the first formula is the rule of 72. Then we have simple interest, the formulas, compound interest, compound continuously. Then if you have annuity or present value, these are the formulas. So now uh, for this week's assignments, we're talking about uh, investments. We're talking about simple interest, compound interest, compound continuously, also annuity and um, and present value. So I'm going to go to your lab directly to show you how to do it. So this is your lab two. So when you do your lab two, make sure you use your formula sheet together and also you're going to need calculator. Uh, the common mistake for this lab is using a wrong formula or when you put it in the calculator, not rounding correctly. So when you when you get your answer in the calculator, make sure you round it to the nearest uh, to uh, to the nearest cent, which means two uh, two digits after the decimal uh, point. Okay, so two numbers after the decimal. So let's start with going through uh, some of these questions. Number one, it says find the simple interest of a loan. So here we talk. We need to recognize the keywords. So the keywords are simple interest, and we have simple interest also in the second one. So the first two. They're talking about simple interest. So that means when I go to the formula, I'm going to use the formula for simple interest. Okay, this is the for these are the formulas. The first formula give me. Um, let me make it bigger. So the first formula. Uh, when you're talking about simple interest, the first one give me the I is the interest and the second one give me the amount you're going to receive. So all these formulas, they have R, they have T, they have P. So all of those P represent pre, uh, principal or also payments for the annuity we're using P also as a payment. Uh, a is the amount you're receiving or uh, the total amount. <clears throat> uh, what else? R is the rate and R have to be in decimal form always. So when you have given percent, like 3%, you're changing it to decimal, it's going to be 0 0.03. Also, the other letter here is T, and T represents the time, and T has to be in years. So if it's given, let's say, the investment is for six months, you're going to change six months to years. It's going to be six over 12, six out of 12 years. Okay, so it's going to be 0.5 years. And pretty much these are the, the majority of the things you have here for compound interest. There is a letter N, which is how you compound. So N, if it's annually is one, quarterly is four. We talk about this compound interest in algebra class. So I'm not going to go in details what, the, what is the meaning of it, but you just have to look at the keywords. Simple interest, compound interest, compound continuously. If you have annuity also, you're going to use the bottom formulas. The first formula give me the amount for the annuity and the second one give me the payment in the annuity. Okay. And the last formula here we have is about the present value. So it's going to say find the present value. And you're going to have given everything else. You're going to have given the payments so of PV is the present value. And all the for the formulas they have an and R and T and an and R and T are the same, uh, like all the formulas above. Okay. So now we're talking about number one was simple interest, and this is the formula finding using. We need to find the the interest, so it's going to be P R T. That's the formula. So here for number one, I'm going to write here. So for number one, we have the simple interest of so the the eight hundred forty five is the principal. So the formula is I equals P 
are t. So multiplying the principal, the rate, and the time. This is the, the rate, 6.35%. You have to change it to decimal. Now five years and four, five, uh, sorry, five years and six months. So this is going to be changed to two years. So it's going to be five years and six out of 12, which is 0. 0.5. So it's going to be 5 point, oops, 5.5, 5 5.5 years. And then if I want to, I have everything I need. I'm just going to plug it in. If I want to calculate the interest, I'm going to multiply uh, 845 multiplying by the rate in decimal is going to be 0 0.0635. And then 5.5 is the time. And this is what I need to put in my calculator. And then I have symbol app open right here. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So when I go to my symbol app, I'm just going to put everything the way it is. So I'm going to enter 845.0635. And then times 5.5. .5. And then the calculator is going to calculate all that. It's going to simplify it. And my answer is this one, this number. Now, when you get your final answer, so this is my final answer, right? I need to round two decimal places. I need to look at the third number, which is six. It's bigger than five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Then that, that means I need to add one to the previous one. So my final answer is going to be 200, 290. Five and 12 cents. Okay, so that's how you do that one. <clears throat> and I'm just going to put down for you so you can see, you can check it too. 95 and 12. And you're going to submit that. Okay, so the answer is correct. Okay. Then you're going to go ahead and do number two the same way. So here you have to find the third amount. So here the question is not the interest. It's also simple interest as compared to the one before. It's also simple interest, but it says you don't find the, the, the interest. See, you find the simple interest. You need to find the interest. Here you have to find find the total amount. So we need to find the amount A equals. That's the formula you're going to use for simple interest, which is P. I'm oh, sorry. So when you, this is the second formula, P one plus RT. Let me draw here so I can see. Oops. So this is the formula you're going to use now. P one plus RT. Okay. So the formula I'm using is going to be P one plus RT. And then we're going to plug the number. So the principal is 6,100. That's the rate. And four years and nine months is going to be four and nine out of 12. So when I divide <clears throat> nine divided by 12 is going to be 0.75. So it's going to be 4.75. That's the years, that's the time. So T is 4.75. The rate is going to be R. It's going to be the decimal form of the per, of the percent, so it's going to be point zero five seven, and the principal is six thousand and uh, one hundred. So then you're going to plug the numbers in this formula. So principal is six thousand and one hundred, and then parentheses. Sorry. Oh no. One 
plus the rate is going to be 0 0.057 and then at the time oops, sorry here is going to be like this uh, 4.75 Oops, 75, I'm trying to write, it's difficult to write an, with annotation. Okay, and then that's what I need to put here. That's what I need to put in your, in my calculator. So I'm gonna go to symbol up. I'm gonna enter everything the way it is. So I'm gonna delete this. And I have 6,100 parentheses. And then I have one plus 0 0.057 times 4.75 and that's it and then the calculator is going to give me the answer so now looking at my answer again i have to round and i have to round two decimal places right so when i round i need to look at the third number which is five and that means is five is bigger so I'm going to add one to this. So my answer should be 7751.58. So this should be my answer. And I'm going to go ahead and enter that in my, uh, in my calculator. Over here okay so i'm gonna enter my answer right here and the answer is 7751.58 and then you're gonna check it okay we got that right then the next question is about compound interest <clears throat> and here we have the next two, three questions actually are about compound interest. Um, and we're going to use the formula for compound interest. This is the formula. And you have that formula in algebra. So, you know, you're familiar with this formula. So I'm just going to use the formula. Uh, so here what you have. <clears throat> we have um, given. Let me make it bigger. So we're doing number three. Um, and what you have given is. This is the principal, 11,000. 11, the rate is 3.1%. And the time is going to be, we have uh, four years and six months is the time. And if it's semi annually, N, N is going to be two times a year. Semi annually means N is two. If it's monthly, N is going to be 12. So this is the N. So for the first one, we're going to use the, the amount we're going to receive for A is going to be principal, which is 11,000. Parentheses, 1 plus the rating decimal is going to be 0 0.031 over N. In this case, N is 2 with exponent n t n is 2 and the time is 4.5 because 6 months is half a year so that's why it's 4.5 and this what i need this is what i need to enter in my calculator so i'm going to go to symbol up again and i'm going to enter that exactly the way it is so i have 11 11000 one more zero. One plus, I'm going to change all this inside. One plus <clears throat> 0 0.031 over two. And then everything raised to exponent two times 4.5. So this is what I'm going to enter here. And the answer is going to be <clears throat> all this number, right? Now, again, we're going to round up. So we need to look at the number after the second. The third number is one. So that is going to round to 0.16. Okay. 
So my answer for A is going to be 12,633 and 16 cents. That's my answer for, for A, for the first answer, for the first question we have. And I'm going to put it there, 12,633.16. Okay, then the next one, it says monthly. So the only thing I need to change is this two is going to change to 12. And this two is going to change to 12. Nothing else. Everything else is the same. So I'm going to go back to my calculator and just change those two numbers. <clears throat> So this should be 12 and this should be 12. And we're going to check it. And again, I have to round two decimal. See, the third number is 220. So that means it's the, answer, the final answer is going to be for B, it's going to be 12,644. Point forty one. That's my answer for B. And I'm going to put that right away the way it is. 12644.41. And then I'm going to check that. Okay. So we're good so far. Then you're going to go to number four. Number four says <clears throat> find the term of a compound interest. And this is what is given. So find the term means find T. Find T, the time. Um, <clears throat> so we have the rate is 3.9%. We're going to change it to decimal. Compound quarterly is the keyword. That means N is going to be 4. This is the principal. This is the amount you're going to receive. So we're using the same formula. The amount is going to be principal 1 plus R over N with exponent NT. That's the formula for compound interest. Then you're going to plug the number. So you have A is to, uh, 83 hundredths. And then 2000 is the principal. And then 1 plus uh, the rate is 0.039 over 4 with exponent 4 and t. So what you're doing now first, we're going to do the first step is divide by 2,000, both sides. So these two can, 2,000 cancel out. And you have, <clears throat> you're also going to put this in the calculator. We're going to simplify this. So we're going to have uh, what you have, 80, 83 hundredths going to divide it by 2000 and that's 4.15 so we have 4.15 equals now here i'm going to do everything inside the parentheses so i need to do 0 0.039 divided by 4 and i'm going to add 1 so it's going to be 1.00975 that's what i get in my calculator in the phone with exponent 4 T. Now from here we have to solve this equation <clears throat> and you're solving this equation when you change this exponential equation to logarithmic and the way to do that was changing switch logarithm to exponent and this is how you do it. If I have um, b equals a with exponent x that's from algebra you're going to change it it's going to be a logarithm this is the base with base A of this number of B equals, you're doing the circle, if you remember from algebra, equals X. Okay? So that's what you're going to switch around. So you're going to do, this is the base, right? So you're going to write logarithm with base 1.00975. Of 4.15 equals 4t. Then, in order to get t by itself, 
we have to divide by four both sides. So I'm going to divide by four. And all this logarithm, I'm going to put it over four. And then the calculator is going to give me T equals all this in the calculator. And this is how you do it. You're going to go to symbol up again. It's going to help us all the way. So we're going to do fraction first. So I'm going to press fraction. In the top, I'm going to put a logarithm with base. So I'm going to press this log. And I'm going to put 1.00975. And then 4.15 here. And then in the bottom of the fraction is going to be 4. So when you enter this exactly the way I have it, that's going to give me the time in years. Okay? So this is my answer. It's going to be 36 point something. Let's see how many decimal places they want to round. It says <clears throat> uh, round to two decimal places. Okay? So I'm going to look at my answer again, and I need to round two decimal places. So looking at the third one is seven. So I need to add one to the six. So it's going to be, two, my answer should be 36.67 years. Oops. Sixty-seven years. Okay, so that's how you calculate the term. That's how you solve for the time for T. And then you're going to plug it in so you can double check. So everything I'm doing, I'm going to submit. So I can see how easy it is to make 100, right? 36.67. And we're checking it. Okay, we're good. Okay, the next one is number five. And the number five says, <clears throat> use the rule of 72 to estimate the doubling time uh, for interest rate, and then calculate the exact. And uh, again, you need two decimal places. So we're going to use the rule of 72. And doubling time means if the principal is P, doubling the amount you're going to receive is 2P. So we're doubling. If you invest $1, in the end of your investment, you're going to get $2. If you invest $5 million, in the end of your investment, you're going to get 10 million. So you're doubling the time. And that's when you have the rule of 72. And this is the rule. If you want to calculate how long it's going to take you to double your investment, you're going to do 72 divided by the rate, multiplied by 100, rate in decimal. That's going to give you approximate. So the rule of 72 gives you approximate how long it's going to take you to double your investment. Okay? And it says compound annually, so we're going to calculate it also a uh, regular way. So here what you have for A, for the rule of 72, we're going to use <clears throat> the formula was 72 divided by the rate, which is 9%. So R is going to be 0 0.09, right? That's the rate in 9%. Times 100. And technically, you're going to multiply a 9 times 100 is 9. So 72, when you divide it by 9, is going to be 8. So it's going to take you about approximately 8 years to double your investment. So that's the first answer here. Then the, I'm going to put it in a minute. Then the exact how many years is you have to use the formula the same way we just did the, the question before. So <clears throat> finding the exact answer is calculating using the formula, using the compound interest formula. So finding the exact answer, we're going to use the formula. So the formula, it's A equals the same compound interest. A equals P1 plus R over N with exponent N T. This is the formula we're going to use. So now if you double, let's say the best way to do it is if you invest $1, you're going to get two dollars. Doesn't matter how what numbers you're going to pick here. One dollar, you get two dollars, that's when you double. And then you have one plus, the rate is 0 0.09 over, it says annually. So N is one, 
with exponent 1 and t. So we're going to do the same we did the question before, we're going to solve for t. So here we're going to do this in the calculator. <clears throat> so what you have is 2 equals 1.09 with exponent t. And here we're going to switch. <clears throat> we're going to switch to logarithm. So it's going to be logarithm. This is the base. I'm going to put 1.09 down here of 2 because you're switching it, right? Equals T. So you just have, you don't divide to anything because it's only T equals T. So what you, when you put this in the calculator, we're going to find the exact how many years and how many months you're going to need to double the investment. And we're going to plug it in <clears throat> the calculator we need now. And we're going to have, so we're going to uh, press logarithm. And then you have 1.09 down here and then two in the box. And then the answer is <clears throat> 8.043, so it's about 8, right? When you round it, it's going to be exactly 8 years. Uh, now, here they want the, to round the number to 2 decimal. So when you round it, it's going to be rounded to here, right? So three small numbers, so we're just going to cross it out. So my answer is 8.04 years. So this is the exact, and the approximate is 8 years. And we're gonna plug that in the calculate in the sorry, we're gonna plug that in your symbol up. I mean web assign. So the first answer is eight, and the second one is eight point zero four. So those numbers should be close close enough. Okay, and that was correct. Okay, then you're going to number six. And number six, it says um, compound monthly. So this is the keyword. We're looking for the keywords. So <clears throat> we have uh, since 2010, particular fund return 13.1%. That's the rate. Compound monthly, which means N is 12. How much will 6,000, that's the principal investment, in this fund have been worth after two years? And this is the time. So again, you're going to use the same formula for compound interest, right? So we have the amount you're going to receive. It's that's the formula P one plus R over N with exponent N T. And then plug it in the numbers and then calculate. So you have uh, the principal was 6,000. One plus point one three one over 12 with exponent 12 times two years. And the calculator symbol up is going to give us the answer. So I'm going to put <clears throat> 6,000 parentheses 1 plus 0 0.131 divided by 12. And then exponent, I need to press that X with the box, 12 times 2. <clears throat> and the amount you're going to receive is right here. I'm going to copy that number. So it's going to be 7786. Now the third number is 7. So I'm going to add 1 to the 9, so it's going to be 10. So 7786.10 cents. And that's what I'm going to put here in the web assign. 77 Eight, 6.1. <clears throat> now you can put point 0.1 or point 0.10, doesn't matter, because the zeros after the, the significant digits doesn't matter. Okay, that was correct. <clears throat> Number seven is the one where you have uh, annuity. So this is the keyword. We're going to use annuity formula. There's a formula for annuity, right? Um, <clears throat> so we have annuity, I'm going to use that formula. The interest 
is compound with each payment, uh, and the payment is made at the end of the compounding period. Find the find the accumulated amount. So you need to find the amount of the annuity, not the payment. So <clears throat> annually, n is one. That's the rate, and that's the time, and this is the payment. Okay, so here we're going to use this formula. And I can, I can have it together, so I can just plug the numbers in this formula. Oops, sorry. <clears throat> okay, so here we have the formulas. And we're going to look at your annuity. So we're going to use this formula, the first one, because we need to find the A, the amount. So this is the formula you're going to use. Okay. So the principle was, um, let's put it here. And I'm going to write it on here so we can, it's easy to transfer to, easy to transfer to my <clears throat> calculator. So I'm going to get the amount, oops, I guess I need to do this. So we can use both of those. So the amount you're going to receive So we're going to write A equals P is going to be 4,500. And then you have fraction. We're going to put that in the calculator just the way it is. And then you have 1 plus, we're comparing this formula here, right? And then you have the rate, which is 7% is going to be point. 0, 07 over n, which is 1, with exponent nt, so it's going to be 1 times 10 years, minus 1 in the top of the fraction, and then in the bottom of the fraction we have r over n, which is the rate 0, 0.07 over n is 1. So this is what you're going to enter in, in the symbol app, in the calculator. And this is how you do it. It's a big formula, so be careful with that. So we're going to put um, fraction, uh, four, I'm sorry, we're going to start with 45 hundreds. And then you're going to, you can do parentheses fraction. You can put everything in the fraction. Probably that's the best way to plug it in here. And you're going to put fraction. And then in the top of the fraction, you're going to put 1 plus 0 0.07 divided by 1. I forget to put parentheses actually, sorry. So I have to do parentheses in the top. 1 plus, you have to look exactly like this. But you can put extra parentheses around the fraction. So we have 4,500 parentheses. 1 plus, oops, I put 1 more. 0 0.07 divided by 1. And then exponent 1 times 10. And then you're going to get down and subtract 1. And then in the bottom of the fraction, you're going to put 0 0.07 divided by 1. So this is how you enter it. It's a big fraction. It has to look exactly like this. <clears throat> and then in the end, you're going to get your amount. So I'm going to copy that down here so I can transfer it. We're around two decimal place. So this is 5. So it's going to be 0 0.02 cents. So the answer is final answer is going to be six two one seventy four point zero two. Now be careful when you get your final answer because if you don't round correctly, like the last digits here, can mess it up. Okay, careful how you round it up. And 
<clears throat> you're going to plug it in. So the answer for this one is going to be 62174.02. And that was right. Let's clear everything so we can see. Okay, so now. We're going to continue the next one, um, which is also annuity. And <clears throat> what you have to do here is uh, you need to find the, the monthly payment, the deposits. So we're using the same formula, but actually using the same type of problem, but the second formula. We're going to use the second formula. So let's see what you have. Um, We need to find the payment. So that's P equals, the formula P equals. Uh, monthly deposit. So if it's monthly, that means N is 12. And the rate is 5%. And this is the amount, 9,000. And the time is 10 years. So here we're going to use the formula for the second formula. This one. Okay, so in the calculator, and I'm going to make it like this so we can have everything in the same page. So we're going to use the form is P equals um, the amount you're going to receive. And then in the top of the fraction, you have R over N. And in the bottom, you have 1 plus R over N. It's a little messy, but I'm going to delete this with exponent N T minus 1. So this is the formula we're using. So here, using that formula, we're just going to plug it in, the numbers, and the calculator. So uh, we have uh, the payments. We're going to write P equals. The amount in this case is 9,000. And then fraction R, the rate was 0.05% divided by n was 12 because it's monthly payments and then in the bottom you're going to put 1 plus the same 0 0.05 over 12 with exponent nt n is 12 t is 10 years minus 1 minus 1 is in the bottom so all this goes in the calculator i'm going to go to symbol up and you're going to enter it exactly the way it is. I already entered it here. And then this is my answer. Again, when you round, it's going to be $57.96. And that's what I put here, 96. And that's my right answer. Now, for number nine, we're going to use the present value of the annuity, which is the last formula here, using the present value, the same idea, the same way. Calculate it, round it up. So you can do that the same way. And number 10, it's the same idea, okay? So I'm going to pause it here. I'm going to stop here. If you guys have questions, meet me for tutoring.